Hi, I'm Kayla from the Canadian Brow Monitoring Project. If you'd like more information about our project or how you can get involved, please see bryomonitoring.ca. We've created this video to give you some tips for identifying Pleurosium shrubberi, or the red feather moss, in the field. So we're going to look at the moss from a distance, some of the general characteristics, and then we're going to focus closer in and look for the more specific things to look for when you're identifying this moss. Mm -hmm. So the first thing to know is where you can find this moss. The reason it's, one of the reasons that it's used so frequently for mm -hmm. biomonitoring is because it's found in many different habitats in many parts of the globe. So it's a generalist species. You might find it growing on rocks, like we have here, on the ground, on down trees, um, at the base of trees. So it is found quite, um, it is quite common. From a distance, the first thing you're going to look for is the shape of the growth pattern. So Pleurosium will grow in this big carpeted or mat formation. Um, sometimes there'll be different species of moss interspersed but will generally take over a nice large area. Um, we've got a nice clump here at um, Bryomonitor in Canada. We would refer to this as a moss beard. So we want to look for a nice big moss beard when we're doing sampling. The next thing to look for is the color. So like most moss, it's green, um, but it also has this golden or light green tinge to it. And some of that golden color, it might even look a little bit orange, is coming from this red stem that this moss has. So we want to look for that big carpeting mat and then this golden kind of yellow green color to get us started. Then we can look at the moss more closely. So if you pull out some of the individual stems, like this one I have here, Get some of this stripped out. They can actually be quite long. So this one is about the length of my hand, but they could be shorter, they could be a little bit longer. There's a little piece that's broken off. And another one there. The next thing that we look at is the branching pattern. So we'll take this piece as our sample. From the main stem, you'll see the branches coming off at a 90 degree angle from that main stem. The branches could be directly across from each other, like this portion that I'm showing between my thumbs there, or they can be staggered, like we have up here, and more of an irregular pattern. So the branches come straight off the main stem at a 90 degree angle, but it has this kind of shaggy appearance to it. Then the next thing we look for in our most defining feature is that red stem. When the moss is dry, like this piece here, it's often a lighter color and it can be hard to see that stem. So if you have a spray bottle or just your regular water bottle handy, you can give it a little rinse with the water. You'll see that the moss um, leaves start to become a bit darker green. So if you've recently had a rain or you live in a humid area, you might see the whole patch of moss being quite a bit darker. And as we can see, this deep red stem starts to show more clearly in the center. So that's what we're looking for. There are some similar species to Pleurosium, particularly in wet areas, but they won't have this defining red stem in the middle. If you do happen to have a hand lens and can check out your moss a little bit closer. So this is my hand lens here. So if you have one of those and you can take a look at the leaves, um, you'll see that they're somewhat translucent. So you can see through them a little bit. And they also form a really cupped shape. So the leaves will be cupped and they'll curl up and come to a point at the very tip. So they're very pointed. You won't find a midrib or a central nerve in these leaves and they won't have any teeth around the edge. So you're looking for a smooth edge with no midrib and a nice cup shape. So just to recap, when we're looking for Pleurosium shrubberi, we want to find these large carpeted mats. They're going to be a golden or light green in color, sometimes a bit darker if you've got a lot of rain recently or if you're in a very humid area. 
And then when we get up close, we look for the branches coming off 90 degrees from the stem for that red stem. And then if we get to use our hand lens, we'll see smooth leaves with no teeth and a very cupped shape. So that's our introduction to identifying Pleurosium shrubri. For more information, or if you'd like to learn more about the Canadian Bryomonitoring Project, please see bryomonitoring.ca. Thank you.